good day please do subscribe meanwhile i'm still introducing you to this video so this video will be focusing on how to delay my unisa and how to activate my live email account so first thing is that you're going to need a browser app you can use any browser app of your choice so uh, after opening your browser app you just only enter unisa's website which is unisa.ac.za then it's going to show you this thing and then uh, as you can see this red dot or laser i'll be using it to point out some few things so you just press my unisa you can see it in yellow or orange um, print so you're going to see this thing and then from here you just press claim unisa login then you're going to see this uh you just only go to student number as you can see this box here you just enter your student number after entering your student number you press ok then step number two is going to ask for your same name you enter it here second is full names exactly the way they appear on your id and then uh, date of birth and then your id if you're not a south african obviously you fill this one and then after that you press ok i'm going to say continue on this part you just only press straight in the squares and then it's going to make a tick for you there are only four squares so you're going to have four ticks and then after that you press acknowledge okay? but before you press acknowledge please make sure that you read everything that is uh, printed here these four points and make sure that you understand once you reach this part automatically the institution is going to send you um, that uh, password via an sms an sms will be sent to you as you can see here straight in this box um they will write your password and also send it to you via sms so this password you're going to use it for my unisa and also for my life so which means now you have claimed the password you can go to my unisa and then a log in okay? so the username is going to be your student number and then the password is going to be the one that is given and then once you log in into my unisa if you want to change the password you can change the password um, they also allow that you can change the password okay? so just to do everything same time on that same page you just only scroll down until you see this thing you can now access your new my life email account or the my unisa learning system so as you can see uh point number one is that click here to access your my life email account at office 365 now so you just press this thing my life at unisa dot ac dot za slash mail then you just press it and then it's going to show you this so here it shows you that it's open in our office 365 yeah. so yeah. this thing kind of like use um outlook app so you can even still access to it online still fine it does work there's no need for you to download that app so you can even uh, access it through your browser then it's going to show you this then you make sure that you press the first uh result that appears accessing your my life email account as you can see it here then you press it it's going to take you here so from this part you can see that it shows you how to activate it how to log in or how to sign in okay? so as you can see point number one go to my life.unisa.ac.za and then number two state that enter your full email address so your email address is going to be your student number okay? and then at my life.unisa.ac.za and please note that 
There is no space between. There is no space between. Ne? It's going to be your student number at mylife.unisa.ac.za. That is your email address. Let's start with point number one. You just only press this blueprint, mylife at unisa.ac.za. Then it's going to take you here. So as you can see, you enter your student number at mylife.unisa and what what. That thing that I just told you, then you press next. On this part, you enter the password that was sent to you. That one that we were claiming uh, for my UNISA. Ne? So you enter it exactly the way it appears. If there is a small capital letter, please enter it the way it is. Enter it the way it is. And then from there, you press sign in. As you you can see it here. Whether you're using a cell phone or a laptop, it's going to ask you this thing. Stay signed in. So this one, it surely means that, um, do you want to stay signed in? To stay signed in is like, it's more like when you want to access my life, it will not ask you a pin again. Like it will just automatically log in. So it's just asking you. So if you say yes, so which means that automatically when you're signing in, it's just going to take you in without any, like without requesting you to enter a password. So normally I highly advise you to do this thing uh, only if like the device that you're using is yours. Like you have full access to that device and it is yours. Like for example, if you're using uh, your friend's laptop, please do not press yes just say no then every time when you try to sign in it's going to request you a password then you just enter it so once you reach this part it surely means that you have activated my live email account so it's going to appear like this if you're using a laptop with a cell phone it may it might appear differently but it's going just going to look alike some point somewhere and then uh, obvious it's more like your personal email account but it's not your personal email account but uh things written here uh just the same like inbox that's where you're going to get your emails and then draft obvious send and what what some tips that i forgot to mention is that please protect your student number and password by all means if you need help based on something and then your student number is appearing please try to hide it or shade it ne? and then a uh, password please do not tell it to anyone whether your soulmate siblings parents anyone like anyone don't show it to them or do not tell them your password if you're using someone's device please do not save your login details automatically and then the other thing is that on my UNISA, ne, under some certain modules, there might be some forum groups. Ne? So under those forum groups, please do not post uh, those things that people normally post on Facebook, wherever they will say, if you want to make a quick cash, hey, join what, what, you will get suspended. They're going to suspend you. So please make sure that everything that you post there is academically related. Ne? And then on my life, you can use my life email account to communicate with UNISA staff members, lecturers, or even the institution, yeah, staff members. And then please make sure that you do not like use hate speech. So everything should be, the email should be professional. Professional. And then when you're writing them an email, please make sure that on that part of subject, you write your student number. Please like, share this video with other people and please guys do not forget to subscribe.